In this video, we're going to be talking about greatest common factor. An abbreviation for greatest common factor is GCF. So if you hear me saying GCF, that means it's greatest common factor. So before we start, we're just going to go ahead and give you a small definition of the greatest common factor, which is the biggest number that divides evenly into each number in a given set of numbers. Okay. So before we start doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little review of prime factorization so we can go ahead and have an idea in case you forgot how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and first go ahead and uh, factorize factor uh, 12. So we can go ahead and try to use as big numbers as possible to start. So we're going to go ahead and put 3 and 4 because when we multiply 3 and 4, we get 12. So we cannot simplify 3 no more so that becomes our prime because you can't simplify no more 4 you can still simplify 4 you can simplify it by 2 and 2 so that gives us our prime here of 2 and 2 so we will go ahead and write it we can go ahead and write 12 as 2 times 2 times uh, 3. Okay, and we can go ahead and do the same thing for 8. We can multiply 4 times 2. Here, the same thing. 2 is going to be our prime number because we cannot simplify it no more. So we can go in here and simplify 4 still because we multiply 2 times 2. It's going to be 4. So here, in this case, it's going to be 2 and 2 on this one. So our 8 can be 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. So right here, we're going to see which ones are the same here. These are the same. And then these are the same. So we can go ahead and put 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 is going to be our biggest greatest common factor okay another way that you can go ahead and do it is if you go ahead and put 8 and 12 okay you can go ahead and do that and multiply and say 1 and 8 because 1 and 8 you're always going to be able to do 1 times 8 is going to give you 8 so then you're going to go ahead and write, okay, what other two numbers can you multiply to get it? You can go ahead and put 2 and 4. There's no other numbers you can multiply to get that, so you go ahead and stop there. And now you move on to 12. So then you can do the same thing. 1 times what number is 12? It's going to be 12. Then another number you can go ahead and put multiply is 2 times what number is 12 is going to be 6 so what other numbers can I use to multiply to get 12 so we go on order 3 which other pair is going to be 3 times 4 and then you're going to go ahead and check which ones are the same in both of these okay so here we have that you have 1, you have 1, you have 2 here, you have 2 here, 3 here, 3 here, no, and we have 4 here. We have 8, but we don't have 8, okay? So all these numbers are both on 8 and 12, but the only number you're going to go ahead and get is 4, because remember, we're doing the greatest common factor. So for these two numbers, our greatest common factor is going to be 4. If you see, we got the same answer as 4, as 4 here, just we just solve it two different ways. You can go ahead and see which way is easier for you, and you can solve it either way. On this example, we have these two numbers, we have 18 and 21, to see which is the greatest common factor for these. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go and multiply 2 times 9, because 2 times 9 is going to give us 18, and then we're going to have 3 times 7, which is going to give us 21, okay? So here right away, we know that 2 is going to be your 
prime because you cannot go ahead and simplify no more. So then you're going to go ahead and simplify. 9, so what two numbers can you multiply to give you 9? So it's going to be 3 and 3. You cannot simplify no more. So you're going to go ahead and write 3 to be your prime. So when you go ahead and write that, you can write it as 18. And you can go ahead and write it as 2 times 3 times 3. Because when you multiply that number, you know you go ahead and you're going to get 18. Now we're going to do the other one. 3, you know it's prime, you cannot simplify. And 7, can you simplify 7? Unless it's 1 times 7, other than that, it's not. So when you write your number, you're going to write 21. And you're going to write 3 times 7. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and see what numbers. No 2, 2, no. Because here, the 3, 3. That's the only thing. So your greatest common factor for this one is going to be your G. You can say your G, C, F is going to be 3. Okay. The other way you can go ahead and do it is the other way. Which you can go ahead and put the same thing as 18. And then you do one number times you know 18 so you can go ahead and skip writing 1 and 18 because you know every number you can go ahead and do that but if you want to go ahead and write 1 and 18 you can go ahead and do that as well so then you have 2 2 times what number is going to give you 18 which is going to be 9 I'm going to be writing 9 here and then what other numbers can you multiply to get 18 which is going to be 3 and 6. Then you're going to go and write the same thing for 21. Again, <clears throat> you don't have to write 1 and 21. So on this one, I'm just going to skip it for you so you can go ahead. And then the other two numbers, this one's going to be 3 and 7. Then you see which ones are the greatest common factor for these two numbers, which is going to be only 3. So the same way you can get the same answer, like I said again, whatever is easier for you, you can go ahead and do it that way. In this example, we're doing three numbers, we're doing 24, 32, and 40. I went ahead already and did the prime factorization for all three numbers, and I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, it's going to give you this, and when you multiply this, you're going to get this, and when you multiply this, you're going to get this, okay? So we're going to go ahead and, and the same thing. So here's the same second row as well. And we can go ahead and do that for the third row as well. After that, there's nothing in 3, there's nothing here, there's nothing here for 5, 2. So we can't do no more. So we're going to go ahead and put our GCF as... 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 equals 8. Okay. Same thing here, I already did the multiplication for you. So 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 8 is 24, and then 4 times 6 is 24. And for 32, I did the same, 2 times 16 is 32, and 4 times 8 is 32. And then 2 times 20 is 40, 4 times 10 is 40, and 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and circle all the ones that are in all three of them, which is 2, then we go 3, no, we go 4, and then we have 6, no, 8, and then we have 8, and we have 8, and there's no 10, 20, on this row, there's no 16 here, there's no 12, nothing. So that's it. But remember that we're getting that greatest common factor, our GCF. So we have to go ahead and find what the biggest. So the biggest in this case is 8. Same way we have in this one. 